Well, hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. So, uh, testing the Omen HP Omen 15T. It's a new one, the 2019 uh, model. Now, the specs I have on this is the uh, i9 uh, 9980H CPU. Uh, it's the 8 core CPU and the uh, RTX 2080 Max Q. So, uh, that's uh, the one it is. Uh, so, it's actually. It's a good laptop. I had a bit of a problem with it before. Uh, I was testing the Razer Core, hence my delay in getting the stream going. Uh, the problem being I plugged the Razer Core in, and it certainly is a Thunderbolt 3 port, recognize it, so forth, but then it started to do the, uh, the uh, upload the drivers and everything for it, but uh, it deleted the driver for the 2080 Max Q, and I consequently had no screen. So it's a bit frustrating. Anyway, I'll talk about that perhaps as I am gaming. So let's uh, fire up Overwatch here. We'll have a look at the settings. Looking at Epic settings. Now, when I first got the laptop, it was pulling. It was strange. It would start off at 45 watts, and then it would pull up to about 70, 80 watts. And it would, you know, of course, that's quite hot. It gets hot, takes a lot to cool that. They did an update. I think it was 9.004 or something like here in the, uh, the the version of the command center. But now is a new one here. After I did the system restore, I got a new one here. So I'm not sure how this will perform. Now I want this test with auto fan, which is fairly quiet, really. And uh, yeah, we are in performance mode, though, aren't we? Let's double check again. So you have comfort default. And performance, you know, so performance, of course, give you better, uh, better performance. All right, so let's uh, let's go. Now, one benefit about um, this laptop, of course, is no Optimus, so I can pipe the feed from the laptop directly to uh, actually that Sager laptop I was selling. Uh, We're all soldiers. So I have no issues there at all. Now I don't have G-Sync activated here, so you can see the tearing. That's because it does, when I'm doing the capture, it does tend to limit the frame rate. Come on, guys! Are you, don't just, are you asleep? My ultimate is charging. <laughs> Great. We got two duds already. Oh, I got in a freaking balcony. Jesus. Look at us get out of here. It's going to be good fun. <laughs> I jumped in the freaking river. Oh, my God. I never. <laughs> Ain't over yet. I thought it was supposed to be a bridge. Go on, you bastards! <laughs> Got revenge! <laughs> Got you back! Tell you what, punch by that fat, fat bugger gets me, doesn't he? Look. 
<laughs> one shot. Not dead yet. Yes, I'm not dead yet. So you'll see the temperature is actually not bad. This is an auto fan. So you'll see, yeah, it does settle down to, you know, lower clock rate, but. So the beauty about it is that, you know, order fan isn't that loud. The uh, the max fan isn't too. Well, it's fairly loud, but. He must have been like nearly dead. How many times did I shoot him? Ah, oh, he got healed. <laughs> you spagger. Defeat. Sorry, I sucked there. Oh. Uh, yeah, the fan. But I can't hear it. Got headphones on, but. Let me have a listen. Yep. In fact, I've got a sound meter here. Alright. See if you can see that. So that's 46 decibels, and that's right over the computer. So where your head is, it's going to be even less. Probably going to be at 44. That's pretty good. Now you saw the temperatures there, it's about the mid 80s, so I'll uh, put max fan on now. Eh? So yeah, we're running around about, you know, 8 degrees, 10 degrees, 8 degrees cooler. And the uh, max fan, if you can see that. That's 53 degrees, but and 53 decibels, so that's over the laptop again. Yeah, so where my head's at, that's at 50. Now, my, probably my biggest criticism is that uh, the battery life. You know, you can get uh, squeak out two and a half hours. And that's turning everything down, you know. Brightness all the way down, well, pretty much. I created a separate uh, profile, a power saver profile. Of course, you can go into the settings there and uh, turn off the individual power settings and various things, so I did that. Oh, we've got no bases! Oh my god! So this is, of course, let's say Ultra Settings DX11. I'll get you, buddy. Get out, look at this. Everybody's asleep. Now 
I'm not a great fan of this map because it's too open. <laughs> you see what I mean? You get these freaking sniper guys. Let's get some points. Yes, about time. Yeah, no, I'm in the frame rate as well, look, 119 frames per second. Now you'll... I mean, the CPU throttles down, but it makes it... You know, it, it's perfect, though. I mean, that's what they do. Now, if it's pumping 80 watts at this, it'd be killer. Alright, now we'll put it on uh, auto fan. Let's have a look. Auto fan. Let's see what we're at. Let's get F. defeat I sucked balls there didn't I so yeah so the temps look pretty good there I mean that's with auto fan I can see what the difference is when you put it on default and auto fan so got some charts this is uh, my frame rates here so you know averaging about 104 FPS if I overclock it with the GPU get 108 and uh you know it's, of course it's comparable to the uh, the 2070 max p uh just for shits and giggles what i did here the the mech 17 with 2060 i'll show you what it gets in there but of course it's got electro boost uh and that boosts it way up so uh, if you opt to get this laptop with a 2060 you can see the type of difference in uh, performance you're going to get there and uh in far cry 5 you know the 2070 max p it's the ultra settings, they're much the same. And look, but the, the Mech 17, you know, we're 85 with the 2060. It's not that bad. And of course, with the Electro Boost activated, you know, puts it puts it on par. I mean, that's such a great laptop. Uh, PUBG, 109 FPS, but when I overclocked the GPU, it went up to 130. This is on the Erangel map, ultra settings. Uh, it's fantastic. It actually, it beat out the uh, 2070 Max P there. Uh, but again, the 2060, you'll get fine performance numbers so this is default and auto fan now actually I've not played this map before be struggling to run up this hill of you eating too many burgers this is probably one of the nicest looking maps isn't it hey eh? like running in the Pyrenees Ah, that's like the, the path of death. Come on, there was three of you there, you can fucking heal me. 
So even on default, an auto fan. We're doing great. I mean, look at that. 107 FPS is still perfect. So the system works really well. I mean, it's. Um, I think the update it did. That's for you, Come on. you know, is good. I mean, it li limits the CPU power. You know, to about 35 watts in gaming, 45 watts in regular stuff. Ah, you know, these guys are just camp. About time someone fucking heal me. It's fucking lethal down here. Got someone! Ah, oh, shit, I pressed the windows key. Oh, he's still alive! He pressed the windows key and survived! Oh, I shot you in the head! Oh, it's a bridge! Nearly ran off the cliff. Let's hide these flowers. Let's go and get these buggers. All right, this time we'll, we'll get it back up to uh, high performance mode because certainly there was a few little dips there I, I felt, but we're still on um, this auto fan. So I'm sure the 2060 and the uh, i7 will perform just as well. Now I have had people email me and saying that theirs is you know running 98 degrees and so forth and uh, i think you know mine certainly with the uh, initial command center was running 80 watts and it was just too much to cool really and i wish i didn't get much time to play around with it in terms of getting it undervolted at the time because it did the update and then it got solved now I do plan to go back to the previous version. Ah, oh, server's too busy for Rainbow Six Siege. I think I just play the situations on this. I still, you know, enjoy it. Yeah, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get this model. Are you gonna get the i7 and the, uh, the 2061? I mean, I can't believe how affordable it is. To be honest, I mean, mine is like twenty-three hundred dollars, which okay, it's expensive, but. That's for the i9 and uh, the 2080 Max Q. I've been competing laptops pff, over three grand for that, you know. Plus, I've got a coupon for 200 off back into PayPal. So I would look at $2,100. I really can't go wrong. I do wish I had a, a muck switch like my Triton 500 so I can, you know, go to increase battery life. All right, so we're at ultra settings. This is still auto fan. It's easy to forget that this is still auto fan. 
Move to hostage location and secure the hostage. All right, so there we are. We're like a 164, 160 something, right? So let's uh, go and. You may have a clock here. I put 131 on the core. It couldn't go any higher, but. Oh yeah, we're right up there. It's got big improvement. Ah! Oh god! I have I have not completed this. Got, got close to it. There's a guy in. Oh shit! There he is. We could suicide bomb a guy. Oh shit! Finally. Take that here, bugger. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm typing, that's why. Sheesh. Go oh, I'm running on fumes, guys. I don't think I'm going to survive. I have the package. Hostage mm -hmm. secured. Move to oh, the extraction quickly. point. Hostiles approaching. Keep the hostage secure. I've got to go over there. Ah, oh, I still haven't done it. But it's doing well, even though I sucked. <laughs> that was a water fan. Yeah, what do you guys think of the uh, the 15-2S? You know, the, uh, the one with the two screens. I was tempted to get that, but I don't think I'd ever use a second screen. I really don't think I'd use that second screen. All right, so we'll put on uh, that Max fan again. Uh, Far Cry 5. Yeah, I, it looks quite nice. Now that's got liquid metal on. Has this got liquid metal? I don't know, I haven't taken it to, uh, well, I've opened the back up, but I haven't uh, taken the, the cooling apparatus apart yet. I probably will do. Um, 
but doesn't need it, does it? I think either way, even if you've got liquid metal on it, they're going to limit the, uh, the the power to the CPU. I'm sure they're going to do exactly the same thing on that one. Now, I, might, I do have that concern about using the Thunderbolt 3 port, deleting the driver. I'm going to have to try it again, but if I recommend if you're going to do that, create a system restore point first and then do it because it was a nightmare not having any screen. Um, in terms of the ports, most of the ports are here on the left-hand side, which I like because I'm right-handed. Um, so it's got a full Ethernet port, which is great. The HDMI. It has a, a mini display port as well. It doesn't have separate audio jacks, which is a shame, but you just go combo one. And on the right here, you do have a uh, the SD card reader, and you also have uh, another USB-A port. So there's no ports at the back this time, just switched it around. The screen is pretty bright, it's probably picks it up pretty well. And I do prefer the screen over to over my uh, Triton 500. This is ultra settings, I don't need to show you, it's ultra settings. The G-Sync, it works great with the G-Sync, you know, it's nice. And I think it's hard to go back, once you've played with uh, G-Sync, it's hard to go back to an Optimus laptop, isn't it, really? And I'll be trying to shoot these stupid helicopters up here. I'm a long way off, I need to get a car, but... So as you can see, it generally hovers around 35 watts for the, uh, for the CPU when you're gaming. On default, it drops down to probably 30 watts. Drive up here. Yeah, I can drive anywhere. I've passed my test. I don't care if it's a path. I can go over this bridge. No worries. All right, let's go up here. God, this car is terrible. Where's these stupid helicopters? 400 meters. I want to get up there. Come on, you can get to this hill. All right, fair enough. Hmm. No, it's still too far away. All right, so let's do some tests. So we're at uh, 78 degrees, 117 FPS. Let's apply an undervolt. I've created a few settings here. So this will be general settings. I've got a uh, 131 uh, millivolt undervolt. Kept the cores as they are here across my eight cores. Normally, having speed shift and EPP to 1 helps lock in the clock rate, but unfortunately, it doesn't do anything in here. As, oh, and let's also show you that, this. See? The turbo long power max is 80 watts in the throttle stop, but as you see, it drops down to 35. <laughs> so, you know, it's not, you can't override it, is what it is, but... So we're about 77 degrees before, eh? But as you see, I mean, it didn't, doesn't need an undervolt. 
Um, there we are, there's those helicopters. Come on, come on, you can get there. It holds the temps fantastic. Fuck off. Fucking snake. <laughs> oh my god, a fucking bear now. Fuck off. Take that, you bastard. This is what I want. This is what I need. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to those helicopters. The wrong way. Survived. What a guy. All right, so there you go. So that game, as you can see, works pretty well. The shitty giggles will put it down on to um, auto fan. Now overclocking the GPU doesn't do any good on this. I didn't see any extra frame rates, but. But I did in uh, most games. Shadow of the Tomb Raider I did. PUBG I saw a nice increase as you saw. So, as you can see, even with auto fan, it drops it down to 30 watts and stays cool. I think they've done a very good job of managing it. And for the average user, it's great. Now, I, I would like an option in the control center to to be able to uh, up the power to CPU, but it's not available. I'll show you what else is available in the in the control center. Of course, it's system vitals, usual stuff. The network booster, if you want to you know, prioritize certain things. The lighting. Basically, it's on or off. F4 key turns it on and off. Uh, you got four zones, and uh, you can pick your color like that if you want to do that, you know. Or if you click on advanced, you can do it that way and change the brightness. But it's lim it's limited, but still perfectly fine for me. Um, other thing I'll quickly show you before we uh, call it a day. Um, Here's a thermal image. So this is the uh, Omen 15. So the keyboard's okay. You know, we're talking about 32, yeah. 34, so that's not bad at all. It's not bad, is it? For 32 there, around the back. You can see the, the heat coming out there. And underneath. Yeah, the hottest, say 43 there. Oh, 43. That's good. I think that's perfectly fine. So I think all in all, it's it's a very good system. Uh, I just wish I had a bit more buy battery life, you know. Uh, backlight bleed was good too. I think I've got that here somewhere, but there's no, no backlight bleed. Uh, ghosting was great. Um, so all in all, I think it's a good thumbs up. Anyway, so if there's anything else uh, you want me to test, uh, I can certainly do that for the uh, for the review. But all in all, I'm pretty pleased with it, and I think you'll have uh, you know good success with it too. Um, I uh, I am going to try and roll back the HTTP command center and try and uh, pump more watts to it to give that a go. In fact, uh, someone has given me 
um, a, the old file to do that with. But um, so all in all, I think it's pretty decent. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.